Hi everyone, it's Shooter Rex here. So as you know, for those of you that have been following my channel or have subscribed to my channel, I already have the Canik TP9 SFX. On this video, we're gonna be looking at a new Canik that just came out. And this is the Canik SFX Rival. So let's get to it. So first of all, as we do this unboxing video of this Canik uh, SFX Rival, I actually got this gun. I spotted it over at Shields in Appleton, Wisconsin. And of course, I got my free uh, apparel. I decided to get this hat along with this purchase. That one was free when you purchase a, a gun. And so, here it is. Let's check it out. Time for some unboxing video. So first, you get your typical uh, pamphlets, flyers, and also the instruction manual. Let's go ahead, remove the gun first. It came with a holster. And as you can see, there's a chamber flag, so it's pretty much safe and empty. But we'll go ahead, remove it from the holster. And open, opening the slide, we have the flushed um, magazine. This is an 18 rounder. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty much flushed on the bottom here. I'll let you look at it up close. You see the slide cuts and you have porting here on the very top of the slide and then you have cuts here and porting on the side of that slide. Same thing right over on that side, okay? So I'm just gonna remove first V stuff before we continue. Okay, so let's take a look at what's included with this um, Canic Rival. It's pretty much kind of similar, the same presentation on the case with the Canic Meta. And so we have right over here, we have cleaning brush. Here we have the barrel rod for inserting the cloth. Okay, so we have two extra back straps. As you can see here, it should be labeled. Okay, so this one's M, medium, and then this one has the mark for, let's see if I could see it. There it is. This one is marked L for large, and this one's the medium, so you have the small back strap on that. So then I don't have to uh, switch them out. So another thing that's included is this punch right here. So for that one, uh, that is for switching the back strap, removing the pin on the grip, but we'll see if I'll need that possibly for attaching the magwell. Then this is neat. At first, like on the Canic Meta, I thought, I thought this was a keychain, but it's not. This is actually like where you have the tools and you insert it here, the different heads. And let's open it up. So from the bottom of the magwell, you kind of just slide it up and here are the different tools included. All right, let's see if I can show it to you. All right, 
we have some extra extras here this is the charging handle let's see if i could grab those here is an extra washer one of the tool heads so for this one you get extra fiber optics the green and the red what else do we have we have the set screws we have extra magazine release buttons we have this is the medium and then we have i'm assuming this is the large one Yep, that's the letter L right there for large. Then we have just set of screws for possibly mounting uh, your red dots for your optics plate. And so that's it for that. Also comes with your trigger lock. Here's the magazine uh, well, the magwell. Feels like it's made of alloy material. So pretty much you're gonna insert it like this. And there you go. Now let's see how that flush magazine fits on it. There you go. Do it again. All right. So you will just have to screw that. There's a screw to keep that secured. Also with this gun comes a second magazine. Also comes with a speed loader. And again, it's an 18 round magazine capacity. Here, you will have extra base pads for your magazine. Now, just so that everybody's aware, those extra base plate. Um, so we have the the ones that came with the magazine. But this extra ones are the aluminum base plate. And this would be kind of like where the spring would be attached to on the bottom end of the magazine. So there's an instruction on how to attach and how to use this aluminum base plate. And I think that's pretty cool that um, Canik included that. Then you have the different optics plate. We have the R04C. This one comes with a rear sight to it. Then you have the R06. We have the R04. R02. And then we have the R01. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this Canic SFX Rival. As you can see, you have the rear sight with 
adjustable elevation and windage. We have the takedown lever to uh, disassemble and remove the slide from the frame, from the grip. And then you have the fiber optic front side. As you can see, the side serrations is definitely different. And the cut or the porting on the slide in comparison with the TP9SFX, here's a side-by-side -side look. Now here it is at the other side, or at a different angle. As you can see, we have a rail here. I'm gonna take this to the range and I'm not even gonna put any optics on it. I will just shoot it out of the box uh, the way it is as a factory setting. The only thing that I changed is I did attach the magwell that came inside the case or the box. Okay, so now let's take a look at the trigger pull on this Canik SFX rival. Again, empty, no magazine. And then as you can see here, it has the indicator that your trigger is ready to fire. And so let's take a look at the trigger pull. That's the travel, the wall, and there's that audible click. Now reset. I'm gonna do it really slow. Right there. Wall again. One more time. Reset. Comparing it to the TP9SFX. Again, safety check, no magazine. There's that indicator. We have a little bit of a travel wall, a little bit more, and then the brake. Reset right there. One more time, reset. And uh, some of you might be thinking or wondering if the magazine for the TP9SFX would fit on this Canic Rival. Uh, let's test it out. So here we have the magazine for the rival. As you can see, it's a flush fit. One more time. And now here's the magazine for the TP9 SFX. It's also an 18 round magazine capacity. Let's test it out. One more time. All right, so far it does fit. Let's test the slide lock. Okay, and then we'll do the slide release. And so the only way to really see if the magazine, this Mechgar magazine for the TP9 SFX would shoot well with this rival is to actually take it to the range and test it out.
target was at 7 yards or 21 feet first 15 rounds FX magazine.